हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल वेलकम बैक टू द ई लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ सेमेस्टर थर्ड फार्माकोग्नोसी एंड फाइटो केमिस्ट्री टू एज इन द यूनिट फाइव इन पार्ट वन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द प्राइमरी मेटाबोलाइट्स इंट्रोडक्शन वॉट आर प्राइमरी मेटाबोलाइट्स वॉट आर द डिफरेंसिस बिटवीन प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी मेटाबोलाइट्स कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट आइडेंटिफिकेशन टेस्ट ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट एंड द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट इन दिस पार्ट टू वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द रिमेनिंग ड्रग्स ऑफ द कार्बोहाइड्रेट कंटेनिंग ड्रग वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द अकेशिया एंड द ट्रेगा केन नाउ इन दिस विल डिस्कस अबाउट द अगर अगर द बायोलॉजिकल सोर्स ऑफ द अगर इज द इट इज ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम द ड्राइड जिलेटिनियस सब्सटेंस फ्रॉम द जेलेडियम अमेन्सी फैमिली इज जेलिडेसी कलेक्शन इज द वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट इन द अगर दैट दिज एलगीज आर ग्रोन ऑन द बॉम्बूज एंड दैट कैन बी स्क्रैप्ड द फॉरन पार्टिकल्स आर रिमूव दैन इट इज वॉश्ड एंड एक्सपोज टू सन दैन अगेन इट इज बॉइल्ड फॉर फाइव टू सिक्स आवर दैन इट इज फिल्टर्ड एंड स्प्रेडेड इन द वुडन ट्रफ्स ऑन कूलिंग जेल इज फॉर्म इन डिफरेंट शेप्स दिस इज द मेथड ऑफ प्रिपरेशन नाउ डेज डीप फ्रीजिंग इज ऑल्सो यूज एज अ टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर द मैथड ऑफ प्रिपरेशन ऑफ द अगर दिज आर द मॉर्फोलॉजिकल कैरेक्टर्स विच इंक्लूड्स कलर ऑर्डर शेप टेस्ट एंड फ्रैक्चर्स मीन्स फ्रैक्चर्स मीन्स देयर स्ट्रक्चर स्टैंडर्ड दिज आर द बेसिक स्टैंडर्ड दैट आर अकॉर्डिंग टू द आई पी और यू एस पी दैट यू हैव टू फॉलो फॉर द सर्टन अगर लाइक एसिड इन सोलिबल शुड नॉट बी मोर देन वन परसेंट दिज ऑल comes under the physical evaluation of any crude drug now the chemical test the chemical test includes the identification test for any agar or gum on cooling at the room temperature it forms should form a jelly so there are the different chemical test for the agar or different types of drug so these are the some identification of the test chemical constituent is polysaccharides like agarose and agaropectin it should also contain digital lactose the major uses of agar it is used in the plant tissue culture for the culture media right the emulsifying agent bulk laxative also in the form of jellies this is the basic overview of the agar obtained from jellydium mnc agarose agaropectin laxative emulsifying agent are the uses different types of agar are the indian agar danish agar now next comes the starch starch the major source of starch are the three that is from maize called as z maize when it is obtained from rice it is the biological source is oriza sativa when it is obtained from wheat it is called as triticum acetum so these are the basic four sources of the starch rice starch wheat starch maize starch and fourth one is the potato starch obtained from the potato method of preparation of starch for example like potato starch they should be washed remove the earthy matter or the foreign impurities crushed cut and then filtered and the potato do not contain gluten they are very easy to process so after filtration a slurry is made then dried and the dried form will get the starch similar we can prepare the rice starch maize starch and wheat starch the color starch morphology is color order taste and shape you have to study it chemical test we have to study for the starch are the if you boil 1 gram of starch with water 15 ml or up to 15 means you can add 12 to 15 ml a transparent viscous gel is formed and this gel will turn blue color on addition of the iodine this is the chemical test for the starch now the chemical constituent the two different polysaccharides such as amylose and the amylopectin are obtained in the starch the uses emollient as a base for suppositories suppositories are the solid semi solid doses form so the starch is basically used in the preparation of suppositories they can also be used externally for the infections starch can be used uh, next is the pectin pectin the biological source of the pectin is the obtained from the root of the citrus fruit it is citrus orientia and also study about the preparation chemical constituent and uses of the pectin method of preparation of the pectin is given here you can study it's very easy method of preparation of pectin means you have to warm the solution filter it remove it from the impurity then the precipitate should be collected and the salts should be formed color order taste and appearance of the pectin 
then the identification test for the pectin can be done this is the overview for the pectin for example pectin obtained from the lemmas food families lutetiae on chemical constituent means hydrolysis of pectin will form digalactouronic acid methyl alcohol and galactose are given the uses it can be used as a plasma substitute also anti diarrheal plasma substitute the next drug that comes under the category of carbohydrate containing drugs is the honey honey is also called as madhu it is obtained from the apis mellifera apis belonged to the family apidae the method of preparation of honey is the nectar of the flowers contain 25% of the sucrose and the 75% of the water so honey can be collected fish test can be used for the identification of the honey reduction of felling test other limit test can also be used as a chemical test for honey the standards are total ash specific rotation then chemical constituent basically found in honey are the glucose fructose sucrose maltose uses are can be used as a sweetening agent antiseptic vehicle uses honey shows my laxative effect it is bactericidal it is also used in some of the formulations as a syrup as a syrup honey is sweet in nature so to embark the bitter test of any formulation honey is also added the marketed products of honey are several herbal pharmaceuticals prepare honey as a you can say pharmaceutical add these are the overview for the honey next is the guar gum in guar gum the name of the guar gum is obtained from the seeds of symposis tetragonulobus families leguminosae guarin is the main constituent which is formed in the guar gum the constituent high molecular weight polysaccharides galactomannan is there and the seed contain 40 to 17% of husk 50% of the cotyledons this is the color order and test for the guar gum identification test for the guar gum and uses of the guar gum are binding agent disintegrating agent emulsifying agent it is also used in the peptic ulcer therapies these are the overview for the guar gum in short i have also told you to prepare the chart for comparatively chart for the different drugs containing carbohydrate next drug is the sodium alginate sodium alginate is the sodium salt of alginic acid and this is the method of preparation for the sodium alginate these are the morphological character which includes white to buff color it should be odorless tasteless appearance is like a fine powder and identification test include calcium chloride test ammonium sulfate test sodium for sodium alginate we can also do 1% of solution in sample solution from heavy gelatinous precipitate with this sulfuric acid h2so4 chemical constituent the major chemical constituent l gluconic acid d manuronic acid uses from the sodium alginate is the binding agent in the food industry it is also used as a thickening agent as a stabilizer various marketed products are also there for the sodium alginate now from all these eight drugs and after studying the complete primary metabolites in primary metabolite we have studied about what are primary metabolites different between primary and secondary metabolites we also studied about the carbohydrates carbohydrate containing drug like agar acacia pectin guar gum now after all this we can conclude that the carbohydrates are the primary metabolites which are stored in the form of a starch grain and after primary metabolite use utilization from the plants they can be used as a precursor for the secondary metabolite two degree means second one degree means primary metabolite and basically the main uses of carbohydrate containing drug are the binder diluents lubricating agents stabilizers so nowadays synthetic chemicals are incompatible with various pharmaceutical formulation so they are replaced by the natural agents so nowadays natural agents can be used as a pharmaceutical ads in pharmaceutical industry these are the important questions that can be asked from this portion i have given you you can go through this and that these are the reference book from where you can find all the portions of the carbohydrates so we have done with both the portion of the primary metabolites part 1 and part 2 part 1 contain 
basically the detailed study of the primary metabolites and the one or two drug and part two contain the remaining drug containing carbohydrates. Thank you. Have a nice day.